Hi everybody and welcome to Cavalcade of Food. I'm Kevin. Hey Kevin. I'm Ralph behind the camera. He cooks, I eat. He works beautifully. And you know what? We're going to be cooking and eating today because um, this is kind of, we're coming late to the party, but um, in the first week of June you had National Donut Day. Let's and make it National Donut Month. There we go. Well, that, <laughs> I like the way you think. We're going to stretch out our love for donuts for the whole month. But we thought, let's make some donuts. This is a first. It is. And, um, you know, uh, people love donuts. I understand the hot food trend right now, Ralph, is something called a cronut. What's which that? Which is a cross between a um, crowbar. In a donut? No, a croissant in a donut. Ooh, I so, guess they're the hot thing in New so York. So that's how you get the cronut, a croissant and a donut. Yes. Yeah, so in New York, they're all the rage. What are they? Are they shaped like a donut? Um, I guess they are kind of round. Yeah, I think. I don't know. I yeah. haven't seen. I I only saw a picture of the inside of one. They're very flaky, and they ah. have the filling. So we're gonna do it like a more traditional. We're doing a traditional old-fashioned old fashioned. donut. We're not in New York. Here we are on the shores of beautiful Lake Huron. So amongst we'll, the great lakes. We'll call it Kevin's Country Down Home Kitchen Cottage Donut. And we got music to match it sounds. Is this Miss Tammy? Why not? No, this is this is the one and only Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn. We picked these up uh, at our Old Miner's daughter. favorite little place in Carsonville where we can get, uh, what is it, 12 records for a dollar or 10 cents a piece? And homemade donuts actually is very popular in the South. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, you know what? There's two kinds of donuts. There's a cake donut and a yeast donut. Oh. So a cake donut is what you think of as sort of the old-fashioned donut, something you might get at the cider mill. The kind of heavier ones? Um, they're heavier. They're like a cake. Mm -hmm. uh, then the yeast donut is something that's very light and kind of puffed up. Um, Are those also called raised? Raised, yes. Because they, cause they float? Because they rise. Because the dough is raised. Oh, just oh like okay. bread dough. You know, it's got air pockets in there and from the yeast. Gotcha. So we're making an old-fashioned cake donut, which doesn't require yeast, but it does require some other leaveners, and we'll get to that in a second. All right, what's step one? So step one is I've got three eggs in the mixer here, okay? And to the three eggs, we're going to add us two tablespoons of butter and a cup of sugar, okay? So let's just get all that together. And I'm going to mix that together until it's kind of all creamed up. Now over here, Ralph, we've got three quarters of a cup of buttermilk or sour milk, either one. We didn't have buttermilk, so I made sour milk. Which is what? Basically, you take milk and you add vinegar to it. Oh. Or you could also use lemon juice. Okay. Okay. Um, and so this is two-thirds of a cup of regular whole milk to which I added two teaspoons of vinegar. So you created your sour milk? Yep. And then what we've got here is three and three quarter cups of flour. And we've got two teaspoons of baking powder. Nutmeg, about three quarters of a teaspoon. A teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and about three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So, so equal amount of cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah. Okay. And then the baking powder and sodas are leaveners, and of course you always got to have a little salt. So, I'm going to keep beating this until it gets nice and creamy, and then we're going to come on back and add our dry ingredients. We're making donuts. All right. Now of food. what we've got to do. So we've got our sugar, eggs, and butter beaten Cream. together. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting our flour and all of our other dry ingredients, our spices, our baking soda and baking powder, and our salt, all in the sifter here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to give these a quick sift together. You know, most flour these days is pre-sifted in the bag, but this is just, it's an old recipe, um, but I do like sifting uh, dry ingredients together, especially when you have baking soda and baking powder, because it really does help ensure that it's kind of nice and incorporated throughout. 
Does so it, does it make it fluffier and lighter too? Well, it does lighten the um, the flower certainly. Kind of aerates it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just set that aside. We got our sour milk, right? We're gonna add that in to our sugar and our eggs and, and butter. butter. Okay. So basically, now we've got all the red ingredients blended together. Now, gradually, and it really helps to use a stand mixer for this. You could use a hand mixer also. Well, you could. You could. But, you know, you now be. both my hands are free. Right. Because what we're going to do is to the wet ingredients, can you see? Mm hmm I'm yep. using a spatula. Slowly adding those in as yeah. it's uh, mixing at a slower speed. Okay. So what we're doing is we're, we're making our donut batter. Now, once this is all mixed in, then we need to let this hang out for a while in the fridge. So I'm going to finish getting this all in here. Just kind of doing it gradually. Okay. So everything's mixed in. Of course we scrape down as we're beating our batter here. You can see it's very soft. Um, and we need this to firm up. So that's why we're going to put it in the fridge for at least an hour. You could leave it in for a couple hours if you wanted to. So that chills it and makes it uh, easy to put into the, I imagine, the hot oil, which is next? Well, because what we have to do is we also have to roll this dough out and cut it. Oh. Right? Into, do into, into donuts. Oh, you into, don't just plop it by spoonful. No, right? although you could do that. It would kind of come out looking like a, like a, little, like a uh, fritter or a something. fritter, yeah. Um, but uh, those are called drop donuts. Um, where you just drop them into the, the hot grease, but this is, we're going to try to go for a more of a traditional round hole in the donut. 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 Okay. So I'm going to cover our bowl here with some saran and we'll be good to go. Little, but little plastic wrap. Yeah. You know, donuts are, it's so funny how they kind of came back into fashion and they were kind of out for a while and considered, you know, really unhealthy and it, I guess, you know, because they're fried so you don't want to eat too many. Everything in moderation. Every, doesn't including mean you have to moderation. Yeah, it doesn't mean you have to stop doing some of these good there we go. donut type things. So let's, okay, we're going to let this hang out in the fridge. Like you said, for at least an hour, and then come back and listen to a little Miss Loretta Lynn. Okay, what I've done is I've taken half the dough out of the fridge. So does it feel feel a little? It's firmer? a little firmer, yes. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of using a pastry cloth here in my hands. It's very sticky. Um, and a pastry cloth and what we're going to do Ralph is we're going to roll these out okay so I've got a rolling pin here I've got it fit with a, a pastry cloth so that it really doesn't stick everything well floured so far so good okay there we go alright now What I'm going to do is, we're going to, here's our little donut cutter. Oh, how's that? Now, can I get it out? I sure can. I'm going to put it right there. There we go. We're going to cut our donuts out, like Your, so. The donut circles. Yep. And then... This is just on a piece of wax paper. So do the, um, does it help maybe to, you're putting powder, uh, not powder, flour, flour in the donut cutter so that it uh, doesn't stick. Doesn't with, stick. So with each application or each Exactly. Cutting, okay. okay, so okay. should we just continue on this or yep. go back? I'm gonna, we're going to come on back. I'm going to finish cutting these donuts out and getting them on my wax paper. Anything in, in the meantime, in the meantime I'm going to take my deep fryer here and we're going to take this temperature up to 375. Okay, 
that's our frying temperature. The other thing too is once we're kind of all cut up here, I'm going to also um, put our scraps back together and roll those out some more. So we don't waste anything. Yeah, and keep on cutting. Okay. We are ready to start frying. The oil is finally at temperature. And our continuity department points out that she seemed to be wearing a different shirt. <laughs> yes, I am, and I am wearing a different shirt. That's because when I went to put my thermometer in the um, fryer, it dropped, and the thermometer's fine, but the oil splashed on my shirt. Luckily, it wasn't hot yet. Luckily, it wasn't hot, but it made a mess on my shirt, so you know what? We had to change, and again, people, why don't I wear an apron? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I keep but I know. forgetting to Anyways. remind you that. So, what type of oil did you say? This is vegetable oil. Okay. Um, which is best to uh, use for this kind of thing. So here's what I've got. I've just got a, I've got an old brown paper bag, and then on top of that, I put a couple layers of, of paper towel. Just on top of a cooking sheet. Yeah. Right? And so that's where we're going to transfer our donuts once they're fried. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell the uh, thermometer. We want it at 375. The nice thing about uh, a fryer like this is that you can kind of set the temperature and it will sort of maintain it. You could also do this in an electric skillet if you wanted to, oh, okay. okay? I know you're the king of vintage appliances. Is this an old appliance here? It is. This is an old Sears fryer. So let's put our donuts in. I'm going to do about, oh, maybe three at a time. Well, look how they're popping back up. You don't want to crowd them in. I think I could do one more. So three or four at the most. Yeah. What about that one that has something in the middle? Well, that's just from the... Can I eat that? Yeah, you can. That's the hole that kind of... Got filled. Yeah, it's a, it's an Audi. But look at that. I mean, look at the one that popped up first, how nice. And you'll it's see... It's getting a nice golden brown. It is getting a nice mm. golden brown. And so what you... You see how they puffed up, too? Yeah, and I can As soon smell as they it. hit the oil? It smells like a, a, a nice donut bakery, bake shop in here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going with these but the one thing I want to do is let me call your attention to you either want to use a spatula or slotted spoon slotted spoon I'm gonna let it get a little bit more brown because you'll notice half of the donut is in the oil and the other half is not in the oil so that means it's only frying on one side kinda of keep an eye in the center of the donut and when you see it getting nice golden brown on the, in, on the inside you of the see section. that you gotta we're gonna do the flip flip. So just obviously very carefully. So right. There's no splashing, but yeah, you're doing that pretty well. Okay. Flip. Get over there. All right. So then I'll t we'll take them out one at a time. Again, transfer them to our drain tray. And then I'm going to get to get, get ready some cinnamon sugar that we're going to sprinkle on top of them. Yum. That's what we like. You could use powdered sugar or whatever, but that's how we're going to do it. So we're frying our donuts. We're honoring the great donut uh, month. Month. <laughs> formerly, formerly the month, the, the international so do donut day. We turned it into a month. Any way you spell it, fry cake sometimes they're called, but we're making old fashioned cake donuts. Okay, what I've done is I put like a half a cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon in a bowl. Okay? And we're going to use this, we're going to take our, our warm donuts here, and we're just going to do this so because while they're, they're warm. Because they're warm, they're, they're still, you want, you want to let them cool a little bit because they're almost too hot to handle when they come out of the oil. But once they've cooled off for two or three minutes, I can, see the, can you see how the, they just, the sugar and cinnamon just sticking, hangs on them? Sticking on them real nice. Exactly. That's just what you want. And... There we go. How's that? Good. And meanwhile, you've got another got three another or four batch in there, doing their thing, and keeping an eye on the temperature so we don't get overly greasy donuts. That's Make sure right. it stays at what three seventy five. Three seventy five, and they're just so they're not. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. It's Enough. nice when things turn that golden brown like yeah. that. Yeah. And let me get this little guy. Okay. Another batch of donuts. We're going to be eating them in just a second. I can't wait. All right.
here we go. We're going to take this la uh, one batch out again, set it on our kind of drain here. The paper towels and the, the bag work beautifully. And you can tell they're homemade, not factory made, because they're all regular. That's just <laughs> like snowflakes, right? Everyone's yeah. different, just like people. Okay. Yeah, I've known a few donuts in my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to let those cool. And uh, let's go back to the ones yes. that from the first batch. It's still warm, but not hot. Your face says it all. Oh, I, gotta make some, I know you want to bite. Give the drummer some. Mmm. Mmm. So you know what? Wow. I'm going to get the coffee on, and we're going to finish these donuts. And we're going to have donuts for dinner. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have donuts for dinner and for lunch. But you know what? Donuts are uh, a real treat um, and something very special. Yeah, they're a lot of work. You wouldn't make them every day, but I'll tell you. You have a group of family or friends over and you're having... People that are um, special deserve special <laughs> treats. That's right. Make them some homemade donuts. It'll blow their mind. Anyways. Celebrate Donut Day every day. Every day. And every, every month, anyway. You can put glaze on here if you want. Make a chocolate glaze. What about bacon? Yeah, we saw bacon donuts the other day. We pulled off the road practically <laughs> to go to the bakery and they were sold out. Mm, so, so many things good. you can do with the with the donut topping, but this is the basic cake donut. Cake donut, delicious. We hope you had a great time. We sure did. Thanks for being a part of it. And thank you, Loretta Lynn, for joining us. See you next time. On Cavalcade of Food. Bye. Bye-bye.